Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, we're going to create a speaker animation using the Muse Motion 2 widget and the Click Hover Audio Effects widget found at museforyoushop.com. Uh, so I have the animation here. So if I click here in the browser, and then I have the speaker here, and I click on the speaker, we have the sound and we have that animation to the speaker. So if you've ever seen a speaker, uh, when there's bass to it, you'll notice that the subwoofer kind of moves uh, when the bass plays and it has this really, it just moves back and forth. And so with the Muse Motion 2 widget and the Click Hover Audio Effects widget, we can kind of uh, mimic that effect. Uh, so if you're a producer or a musician or you make music, um, this could be a really interesting effect. Uh, to add to your website, uh, your Adobe Muse website. All right, so we have the speaker here, and then I have a few more here with different sounds. All right, and then we have these speakers here. Okay, so in this video tutorial, I'm going to recreate uh, these animations and it shouldn't take very long. We're going to be using the Muse Motion 2 widget and the Click Hover Audio Effects widget. So I'll go into my Adobe Muse website. I'll go to File, New Site, and I'll click OK and I'll double click on the home page here. And here I have my blank site. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is bring in the images. So I'll go to my finder. I'll go to the images and I have the images here. Um, I downloaded these from Dollar Photo Club, which I now believe is Adobe Stock. Uh, so here I'll right click, open with Adobe Illustrator. And here I have the speaker, uh, it has a background here, so I'll just move that to the side. Um, and then I could even delete that if I wanted to, but yeah, we'll just <clears throat> leave it there. Uh, so I'll select the speaker here and I'll hit Command T to copy. I'll go into Muse and I'll hit Command V to paste. Uh, so there I have the speaker. Uh, now the next thing I want to do is bring in the Muse Motion 2 widget. Um, so I'll go to my library panel. And if you don't see your library panel, you can go to Window and click on Library. And uh, that'll bring up the library panel. Uh, so I'll go to Muse Motion 2, which is right here. And for this, we just need a 2D transformation, although it does look a little bit 3D, but that's because the speaker is getting bigger and the elasticity of the easing uh, makes it kind of look like it's bouncing in and out, which is kind of a really interesting effect. Uh, but it, it is a 2D transformation. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is add the Add First widget. So I'll click, hold, and drag and place to the top left of my Adobe Muse website. And then here I'll select the 2D transformations. Uh, because we're just applying it to one element, um, we just need the 2D transformations and we don't need the sequen sequence uh, because we're not going to sequence a, uh, a few animations. So we'll select the 2D transformations. Um, and Adobe Muse just did come out with an update. Uh, I'm not sure what they updated, but I'm guessing it's you know some bug fixes or just kind of making Adobe Muse better or, you know, yeah, just maybe fixing some things there. Uh, but they did come out with an update recently. And anytime they update, the widgets need to kind of update for the new version as well. So that's what happens when I click on a widget um, that I haven't used in the, the new update. All right, so I'll click here on the 2D transformations and I'll click hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. And there it is. And I'll go to the widget options. Uh, we can see here that the graphic style name is Motion 1. So I want to apply that graphic style name uh, to this element here. So I'll select the element. Um, I'll go to graphic styles. Again, if you don't see your graphic styles panel, you can just go to window and click on graphic styles and that'll bring up the graphic styles panel. Okay, and here we want to click on the new graphic style or this icon here that says create a new style from the attributes applied. Uh, so I'll click here and here we have a new graphic style called style. So I'll double click and I want to call this motion one which is the graphic style in the widget. So now when I change anything in the widget, it'll apply it to this element uh, here, which is the speaker uh, that we've selected. Okay, so now that this uh, speaker has the graphic style motion one applied to it, uh, I'll close my graphic styles panel and I'll go to the widget options. Uh, now to achieve that effect of the, uh, the, the speaker bouncing, uh, what we wanna do is go to the scale option and we want to enable scale 
and we want the animation to start from the, the transformation. So when you click on it, 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 it does the animation. Um, it comes from the animation into the original state. And then for the scale, I'm going to set it to 0 0.8. Um, zero, if you set it to zero and you have it, the animation start from the, the animation, um, you won't be able to see the element because it initially starts at zero, the, the scale, so it's going to be not visible. Um, and I'll play with this a little bit just to show you the difference between, let's say, like 0.5 or 0.8. Uh, a scale of one would be the the normal scale. That's the scale that it it is initially. Uh, so I set it to 0 0.8, so it's a little bit less. And we're going to see when we click on it, um, it's going to get bigger. Okay, and the duration, I'm going to set it to one. Um, and then for the easing, I'm going to set it to elastic. And that gives it that kind of bounce um, animation. All right, so we set the scale to 0 0.8. And then for the animation start, we want to say on click. Okay, so when we click on it, it animates uh, or it triggers the animation there. All right, so now if I go to file, uh, preview page and browser and I click, we can see the animation. And originally it starts at uh, this state here. And once you click on it, it goes into the animation state. Um, so when you click on it, so if on your website, you could just say, you know, click on the speaker and the user can click and then the animation will start to to run for it for the user there. And it looks really nice. OK, looks great. So the next thing I want to do is add the click hover audio effects widget. Uh, so I'll go to my library panel and I'll type in click. Uh, yep, yeah, And then here I have the click hover audio effects widget. I want the initial uh, because it's the first one. So I'll place that in there. And yeah, let me close the library panel. And then here I'll open the click hover audio effects widget. And then for the graphic style name, I want to say motion one because we want to apply it to this element that we gave the graphic style name motion one two. Uh, and then for the audio, I'll click add file and I'll just add uh, this kick here. All right. And then for the on click or hover, I'll say click because we want it to start on click and the stop sound on mouse leave. Uh, because it's a short sound, I don't want it to stop when I leave my mouse off the element. So I'll, I'll uncheck that. And uh, now I'll go to file preview page and browser. When I click, we have the effect there. All right, looks good. Yep, and it just goes from that first state and then it goes into the animation just like this. Looks really good. Okay, so that's the first uh, speaker. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll duplicate this page and I'll just create three more speakers. So I'll right click uh, duplicate page and I'll call this um, speaker two. And I'll double click. And here what I'll do is I'll move this one to the side um, I'll change the width because we want to add three speakers in a row. So I'll say uh, 250 for the width and height. Uh, then I'll go back into Illustrator. I'll select this speaker here and I'll hit Command V to paste. I will make this 250 as well. I'll go back into Illustrator and I'll select this speaker here and I'll paste. Okay, and I'll make this uh, 250 as well. That looks good and I'll just line these up just like this. We'll put this one in the center here and line these up here. All right, that looks good. Um, so what I'll do for these other speakers, uh, this one already has the graphic style name Motion 1 applied to it. Uh, so I'll go to this speaker and I'll apply the graphic style Motion 2 to this speaker. So I'll just say Motion 2. And then I'll go to this speaker, I'll go to Graphic Styles and I'll apply Motion 3. Okay, so this one's Motion 1, Motion 2 and Motion 3. All right, so I'll just copy this widget here, the first one that we made the changes to. And because I want them to have all the same animation, all I have to do is change the graphic style name. Oh, I'll say motion two and the instance number to instance number two. And then I'll copy it again and paste. And then I'll place it right underneath. And I'll just change the instance number here to three. So if we go to file preview page and browser, and I click, they all have the animation. Okay, and then I'll do the same, or for the click hover audio effects, um, I'll go into my library panel and I'll type in click. And then here we have the click hover audio effects widget additional. Uh, for any additional ones, we want to use the additional. 
and this one already has the instance number two. So we just have to give it the graphic style name motion two. I click add file. I'll add this kick here. And um, I don't want it to stop on mouse leave. So I'll uncheck that. And I want it to trigger on click and I'll check that. All right, looks good. So then I'll copy this one again and I'll place it right underneath uh, this one here. Okay, and then I'll just change the inst instance number to three and I'll say motion three. And because we copied it from this uh, second one, um, the on click is already on click and we don't have the stop sound on mouse leave. Okay, and then I'll just change the kick to this clap here. Okay, so now I'll go to file preview page and browser and I click and we have those different speakers just like that. And this could be really cool for a music website or if you, know, if you sell speakers for like car systems or something, um, you could have this really cool effect and engage your website visitors to kind of play with the speakers. And it could be a lot of fun uh, for users going to your website um, if you have that kind of website. So um, yeah, I was excited to be sharing this idea with you. Um, I do like music myself. So I thought making this effect could, could be really interesting and a lot of fun. Um, so to get access to these widgets, uh, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and then here you can click on the pop-up uh, and here you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Or if you'd like to use PayPal, you can click here and subscribe with PayPal. Uh, if you'd like to purchase the widgets individually, uh, you can do so here as well. Uh, here is the Muse Motion 2 widget and the click hover audio effects widget is right here as well uh, so to purchase individually um, here i'll click on the muse motion 2 widget uh, here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets i come out with for 39 a year uh, so that's it for this video tutorial um, i'm really excited uh, about the muse motion 2 widget um, actually the guys at greensock uh, posted the getting started video and the Muse Motion 2 video uh, on their Twitter uh, page. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, I think they did a great job with uh, the GSAP, the Greensock animation platform. And I'm really excited to be offering it in a widget uh, to make it really easy for you and for, for anyone, yeah, for anyone using Adobe Muse uh, to make it really easy to, uh, to add these animations from Greensock. Yeah, so I'm really excited about that. And again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you.